In my book, The Circle of, uh, you know, uh, Quick, Cheap, Easy Way to Learn Chords, this is all spelled out in detail. So if we do the overview, then you will see, when you read the book, the details. All right? So first, a circle. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Alright, first the circle. Alright. You've got it memorized. Do you know where the things are? Where the things are? Mm -hmm. What's at 12 o'clock? C. 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 1 o'clock? F. F. Then what does it spell? B. B flat? Mm -hmm. E flat? Let's say it together. A flat? D flat? D flat. D G flat? D flat. B, 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 E, A, D, and G. The right side of the, of the circle is flats. The left side of the circle is sharps. Right? Yes. The key of C. Now, remember, the word key and the word scale mean the same thing. Correct? Correct. All right. The key of C has no sharps and no flats at 12 o'clock. Correct? You can close those books for a while because we're just going to talk here. One o'clock, the key of F, has one flat. One o'clock, one flat. The name of the flat is B flat. Go ahead and point. See the key of F? The name of the flat that's in the key of F is one to the right. All right. Two o'clock, key of B flat has two flats. The flats are B flat and E flat. See how easy? Isn't this cool? Yeah. Oh, you're not as excited as you're gonna be. <laughs> Three o'clock, key of E flat. Three flats. They are B, E, and A. Four o'clock, key of A flat. The flats are B, E, A, and D. All right, six o'clock. Key of G flat has six flats. They are B, E, A, D, G, and C flat, which is a B. Okay? You lost me. Okay. Put a, in parentheses, under the B, put a C flat. And under the G flat, put an F sharp. Same note. Is it the same? And under a D flat, put a C sharp. C sharp? Uh -huh. Okay, that's the 15 keys. You only have 12 on a clock, but there's three that are the same. So if you are the key of G flat, you need that extra flat. So it's B, E, A, D, G, and C flat. Okay? You, don't worry about it because you're never going to play in those keys. If you are, you're better than me. All right, let's go to the left. Key of C has no sharps and no flats, correct? When I say correct, you're supposed to, today you're supposed to go like this. Okay, ooh, that made me dizzy. <laughs> All right, key of G. One sharp, it's a backwards clock. Okay, one sharp. The name of the sharp is F sharp. So you just go over to the F, and that's where you start. Okay? In your head, just make a, a little sharp sign. Two sharps, key of D. The names of the sharps are F and C. Just, just name them. Just don't, don't put those okay. there. Because that will, that's all right. Names. Okay, so key of A. How many sharps? Three. One, two, three. All right. No sharps is key of C. G is one, D is two, A is three. The names of the three sharps are F, C, and C. G. Just go to the F and then just go back, just like you did with the flats. All right? Key of E. Four sharps. They are F, C, G, and D. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. I, it I don't know. It's awesome, though, how it all fits. Key of B <coughs> has five sharps, right? Yeah. Correct? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to say correct instead of. All right, so you go C, what are the names of the sharps?
sharps. F, C, G, D, A. Cool, huh? All right, I want to play in the key of F sharp. F sharp, way down at the bottom. How many sharps? Six. Six. What are they? Go back up to the top, F. One, to the one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pretty cool, huh? Remember the order for sharks? Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Look, fat cats go down alleys eating birds. Okay? Order for flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, G flat, goes completely flat. Okay, and up by the E, there, that's an F flat, by the way. So you could put a, never mind. All right, everybody with me so far? That's just a little easy way, it, if you have a circle, and if you make a little circle, just put it on the organ. When you look at them, they're kind of scary. But they're just one, two, three, four circles tacked on top of each other. And I don't think we invented this, but a long time ago, we started doing this. And one of our class people, like Carol Simon actually, mm -hmm. made a bunch of these. Um, and so I think Jim Hope made these for us, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So go. if you look, and, and the reason that I like to use a circle like this, because you can't turn them. If you just draw it on a piece of paper, you can't put a different chord at 12 o'clock. Okay, so if you have the ability to turn it like this, so, so put the key of C at 12 o'clock, just on the outside. I'm just going to look at the outside, the top, outside of the rim here, okay? So just look at it, and there's F to the right, B flat, blah, 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 okay? So now let me show you something kind of cool. If you want to spell a C chord, how do you spell C chord? C, C E G. All right. So take the second, the second ring, and put an E under the C, and the third ring put a G, and the fourth ring put a B flat. So at twelve o'clock, right here, you have a C, E, G, and B flat. Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, now watch how cool. How old is that? We're struggling. <laughs> okay. Now, look at one to the right. What are the now if you put F at 12 o'clock, spell spell it downward. F A C E flat. That's an F7 chord. Okay, now put B flat at 12 o'clock. Spell it. B flat, D, F, A flat. That's a B flat 7. Isn't that awesome? It is mind boggling to me. Okay, now go back and put a C up there. This is better than Rubik's Cube. Isn't it cool? <laughs> no, and then try to fit logic it out. And just, it'll just <clears throat> short circuit your brain, so don't even try. Just accept it as a miracle. <laughs> Some things you just gotta take on faith. Okay, so spell, let's put a C, E flat, G, and an A. C, E flat, G, and an A. Play old G. Mm -hmm. That is a C minor six chord. See? C minor six. <laughs> Who cares, right? Whatever you say. <laughs> well, just accept it on faith. I said so. Well, you can't always accept it on faith, but this time I'm right. I know. All right, if you go one to the left and put G at 12 o'clock, now spell it. G, B flat, D, and E.
That is a G minor 6 chord. Everybody all together. Ow! <laughs> so if you know one chord, you can figure out the same chord. Yeah, it's not going to really get you anywhere, but it's not going to make you play any better. But it's kind of fascinating, don't you think? Yes. 